Divar Karnatic music is quite interesting and many people still agree and disagree with uh, the name itself. But this much can be said about it. The word Karnataka essentially means the music system belonging to the province Karnataka. But it is not a restricted one. There are some etymologies like Karneshu Atatiti Karnataka that which uh, lingers in the ears and music is that. But it is a strained interpretation. We know from the text that most of the people who wrote on Indian music belong to Karnataka. They all hailed from Karnataka. Starting from Matanga, we have evidence to show. After Bharata, only in Matanga, we see a complete development of Indian music. Who hails from Hampi? And then we have uh, great masters like uh, Jagadekamalla. His uh, work is Sangeet Chudamani and his father Someshwara while producing his encyclopedic work Manasolasa devote separate sections for music connected with uh, the instruments and also with uh, the ragas and talas. And then Sharangadeva who hails from uh, Devagiri which was also part of the then Yadava empire which was centered around Karnataka and hence uh, Sangeeta Ratnakara and the author also belong to this land. And then the great commentary on it by name Kalanidhi written by Kalinatha whose real name was Kallaya hailed from Vijayanagar. And Rama Matya, another great scholar who wrote Swaramela Kalanidhi belonged to Vijayanagar. And then Parshvadeva who wrote Sangeet Samaisara again belonged to Karnataka. And Pandrik Vittala who wrote many works like Sadraga Chandrodaya and then Nartana Niranaya, Ragamala. All these works written by Pandrik Vittala again are very important from the viewpoint of Hindustani music as well. He belonged to Karnataka and even the revolutionary shift from the Grama to Mela happened in Karnataka. The great visionary seer Vidyaranya Swami from Vijayanagar Empire, he wrote Sangeeta Sara which is unfortunately not available now. He was the person who made the shift from the Gramas to Mela. And in his lineage came Govinda Dikshita. In his work Sangeeta Sudha, which is still available, we find some of the portions of Sangeeta Sara of Vidyaranya. And Govinda Dikshita's worthy son Venkatamakhi, in his Chaturdandi Prakashika, he developed into a complete thesis. And so, this way of Mela Paddhati, which is now prevalent in both South and North Indian music, we have again uh, connections to Karnataka. Because all these people, Vidyaranya or Govinda Dikshita and his son, everybody belong to one community of Brahmins called Faisala Karnataka, again associated with Kannada, Karnataka. All such historical details and textual evidences show that though this is a pan Indian music, its theory and systematization was developed in Karnataka. For that matter, the basics of Karnataka music as practice were developed by Vidyaranya and later well nurtured by sages like Purandar Dasa. Even today the basic lessons of Carnatic music are according to the songs of Purandar Dasa. The Pillari Gitas as we call the Lakshana Gitas, they all belong to Karnataka and that is why this particular system of music is perhaps called by the name Carnatic Sangeeta. Our Tamil Telugu brothers should never feel bad for all our Bharatiyas all are lovers of music. But uh, we should note that a great Telugu poet like Srinatha, he mentions that uh, Nijamu Nadu Karnata Bhasha, Praudhi Palikimpa Sanskrita Bhasha Yendru, Paluku Nudikarumuna Telugu Lessa Yendru, like that he says, when we want to be uh, exuberant, we will be using Sanskrit. When we want to be idiomatic, we use Telugu. But I use Carnatic language means he is saying that my language is very lilting and resonating in the ears. And he in pride declares that and he had the great recognition of Kanakabhisheka in the court of Pravdhadevaraya who hailed from Vijayanagar. So, Vijayanagar was the seat of all cultural and political activities of South India in the medieval times. And the Vijayanagar kings, they were called as Hindu Rai Suratranas only to rescue the Indian culture from the clutches of uh, the invaders, the great uh, sage Vidyaranya, 
harbored and nurtured this empire and naturally all the kings and all the scholars they were interested in it and they developed it and scholars from all nook and corners of india they came here and they worked for it so it became a great melting pot of indian culture and that's why karnataka physical geographical entity is that but it belongs to one and all at the same time even the andrites they recognized that karnataka is the hub central hub of all artistic and uh, scholastic activities and even in tamil nadu also we have one phrase in tamil called karnatakam if anything is traditional we call that as karnatakam enna romba karnatakama podave kattindittiye how come you have been very traditional in wearing the sari something like that adu romba karnatakamaachi means we can't understand which is very archaic means very old ancient and cherished is called karnatakam and even from the poems of vedanta deshika we get the cross references whether is abhiti stava or whether the inscription that is engraved on the walls of srirangam all these things they show that karnataka played a vital role in reestablishing sanatan dharma and of course all the art forms which are expressions of sanatan dharma and that's why karnataka should be respected as a revitalizing traditional uh, force behind this and music is one part of it and the spelling whether it should be written as k a r or c a r it's a material only with the advent of british this came into existence and that has nothing to do with the karnataka twa as such <laughs>